Go with me to Isaiah chapter 55. The book of Isaiah chapter 55, the second longest book in the Old Testament. Where's the longest? Psalm, Psalm yes. The longest chapter, Psalm 119. That's correct. Isaiah 55, we'll read verses 8 and 9. When you read the Bible, read it as though it was written for you personally. Not for the world, for you. Read it as if God is speaking to you directly. Because he is. Do you have Isaiah 55? Reading from verse 8, I read from the King James Version of the Bible. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Now pause. God is telling us in that passage, the way he thinks <laughs> is vastly different from the way sinners think. Now, originally, God made us to think like him. That's why the Bible says, it, uh, go, and God said, let us make man how? In our image, after our likeness. We were originally made to think like God. But what happened? Give me one word. Sin. And that messed up the mind. And so we have a mind that thinks contrary to the way God thinks. But Jesus Christ came, and through the power of the gospel, that mind of God can be restored to us gradually. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, and no one can measure that distance, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We have established that God does not think the way we think. Now, let's strengthen that position by going to the book of Psalms. Psalm 50, we'll read from verse 18. In that psalm, God is speaking to the Israelites, of course, through the psalmist, and he's telling them things they have done. Verse 18, Psalm 50, our subject, there's no deception like self-deception. You have verse 18 of Psalm 50. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. That's the lifestyle they led. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. That's verse 19. The things you speak are untrue. They are lies. They are deception. They mislead others. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue speaketh deceit. Now, in verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, and slanderest thine own mother's son. What a terrible thing when we talk badly of one another, and we're one church family. Now listen to verse 21. These things, read with me, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Now carefully, read the next few words. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself. <laughs> you thought. That's what I did. You thought I was just like you. I'm not like you, says God. Now, that creates a problem. Here's God, he thinks one way. Here are we, in a carnal condition, we think another way. Yet, we want to go to heaven where God lives. Are you, see, are you following me? Now, keep this in mind. God thinks that way, we think this way. Go to Amos chapter 3. The book of Amos, what was Amos' profession? Farmer. All right, farmer. Farm and shepherd. Simple man. God loves to call simple people. And then he empowers them so all the glory goes to him. Do you have Amos? Yes. Chapter 3. We read verse 3. It's a simple verse. You know it very well. Amos 3 verse 3. It's 20 after 6. God asks a question in Amos 3 verse 3. Read with me. Can two walk together except they be agreed. 
Can a square peg fit a round hole? What's your answer? No. But what we read in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, constitutes a square peg trying to fit a round hole. Are you with me? If God is a round hole, we're square pegs. And we just don't fit now. If two must agree in order to walk together, but they're different, at least one of them has to what? Change. Are you following me or am I talking to myself? One of them has to change. Amen. <laughs> now, here's God. He thinks this way. Here are we. We think that way. Yet, we want to live where God is. One of us has to change. Either God becomes like we are, or we become like God in thinking. Is that reasonable? Yes. Okay. Now, but let's learn something about God. Go to Malachi chapter 3. Our subject, tell me what it is. There's no deception like self-deception. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. What book did I say? Malachi, what chapter? 3, what verse? 6. When you found it, say amen. It's the last book of the Old Testament, the book just before Matthew. Read with me. For I am the Lord, come on, I change not. I don't change, says God. So we have a problem. Since one of us has to change in order for us to think alike and behave alike, and God does not change. Finish my words. We have to change. There are some human beings who try to change God to fit them. You've heard of the Romans and the Greeks? That's what they did. They created gods. Jupiter, Zeus, one is, I think the, 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 the Greek is Zeus, the, the Roman is Jupiter, then Hera and Apollo and Minerva, I'm mixing up the names. They had all these gods. They